Hi, I'm Jillian Johnson, back with another episode of Alumni Spotlight. Today, I will be interviewing Justin Ryan, who is a graduate of the class of 2003. Thank you for coming today, Justin. Thank you for having me. Ready for your first question? Yes. So we understand that you have landed a career in music. Would you mind telling us a bit about that? Yes, so I am an assistant professor at a college. Um, I also am a music director at a local church in Monmouth County, and I've been involved with community theater, um, and I've also been fortunate enough to be able to produce a couple of albums that have made its way to iTunes. So I'm sort of uh, ensconced in uh, every every aspect I can get involved with. And what are some of the instruments that you play? Jeez, uh, organ, piano, guitar, bass, uh, trumpet, percussion, accordion, steel drums, ukulele, banjo, mandolin, and I think that's it. Just about everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what are some examples of things that you did during your high school career to prepare you for where you are now? Um, I think the one good thing about high school is it gives you the structure that's needed um, when you go into the real world, into the real workforce. You know, not just in college, <clears throat> but beyond college. And the one thing that I think I was a big takeaway was the idea of, you know, working on a schedule. Um, you know, have to stick to a certain schedule. Um, and it, it just really helps you to, um, you know, sort of balance things out in life, uh, you know, when it comes to, you know, work or extracurricular activities. Um, but it really makes you focus on, you know, keeping to that schedule and uh, having a good work ethic. <clears throat> I think that's one of the biggest things. Um, you know, it's just so important to have a good, strong work ethic. And I think if you work hard in school, the payoff is is much greater. Carries on. Yeah. So who or what inspired you to choose this career path? I had a an organ. Uh, piano and vocal teacher in high school. Um, I started when I was, I was 14 or 15. And he really, um, you know, inspired me to, you know, be the best version of myself. Um, you know, whether it was, you know, giving me some advice on, you know, learning a new piece of music or, you know, trying a new technique. Um, he really pushed me. Um, I think some of the teachers, uh, I had this one teacher, Miss um, Rujan, who uh, was, a, was a wonderful teacher and gave me a, a big opportunity, um, you know, not just in my junior year, but in my senior year where I played uh, Judas, which was a fairly large role in the musical Godspell. So uh, the, the combination of those, those two people um, were just very inspiring. You know, they, both have very, they both have very strong work ethics and they really sort of pushed me to, you know, uh, you know, get as involved in the arts as possible, and also taught you know the importance of art. You know, it's not just what's on the page; it's creating. Uh, you know, it's you know bringing it to life. You know, there's a, there's a, there's a quote from Stephen Sondheim in his musical uh, Sunday in the Park with George, which is based on the famous painting uh, Sunday on the Grand uh, Sunday in the Park on the Grand Jacques which is in uh, France. One of the last lines is, white, a blank page or canvas, his favorite, so many possibilities. And it's, it's true, you know, and so, you know, these people really just, you know, inspire to, um, you know, just have a, have a great love and desire for producing good works of art. And do you have any advice or suggestions for cur current students interested in taking a similar career path? Yeah, I would say, um, you know, I, I know a lot of people are are interested in, in you know being performers, and that's um, that's wonderful. The one thing to <clears throat> to watch out for is that you know everyone is you know gunning for that role of Alpha or you know for the role of Phantom, and you know it, it's it's you know good to, to try to get there, um, but don't give up. Don't give up. You know, there's always going to be opportunities, um, but again, you need to have a strong work ethic. You know, you need to, 
you know, uh, you know, a good, keeping a good schedule, um, you know, lots of rest, um, but never, never lose track of your of your dreams and of your goals, um, because you know, if you believe that you can get there, you can get there. Um, I would say, you know, definitely try to continue your studies even well beyond the years of high school and, and college. Um, you know, as someone who's in a doctoral program, <coughs> excuse me, you never stop learning. And, you know, the minute that you think that you've learned everything, something new comes up. Um, so really just, you know, a combination of those two things, those two things, you know, good work ethic and just keep your mind open to, uh, you know, just new ideas and just, you know, learning as much as possible. Great. So thank you for coming today, Justin. Thank you for having me. And thank you for joining us on another episode of Alumni Spotlight. We hope to see you next time.